Hey guys, how and Sarge? Another good cup of coffee? You like my tumbler? And a cheap cigar. Hey look, Joe Biden is talking about the COVID pandemic is over. It's over. It's done. Well, I'll be honest with you, Joe. Just between you and me, it's been over for me for a while. But it's funny to me that you say the pandemic's over and I find out the day that my father, who just turned 80, just tested positive for COVID. Hey, life goes on. And I know you're just trying to get some wins for this upcoming election. This is really the only thing you could claim a victory over is COVID. Right. But then you got people like Rand Paul from Kentucky just absolutely blasting Dr. Fauci. Now, I am no fan by any means of Dr. Fauci at all. But Rand Paul's ranting and raving about how much did you make, Dr. Fauci? How much did the pharmaceutical companies pay you? What was your, what was your profit from all these COVID vaccines? Rand, look. You need to, your wife, okay, I'm just going to say it, your wife, Kelly, she invested in the Gilead Sciences stocks, a company that makes a medication used in treating hepatitis C. Now, this particular medication, which I'm not even going to try to announce, was given to Donald Trump as part of his treatment when he had COVID, and it proved to be effective. So Rand Paul's wife, your wife, invested <laughs> supposedly between $1,000 and $15,000 in this stock. Now, how in the hell you can say you invested $1,000 to $15,000? That sounds like government math to me. But at any rate, between $1,000 and $15,000 in Gilead, I believe that's how you pronounce it, sciences. Now, according to the rules, you had 45 days to report that investment, but you waited 16 months. 16 months to report it. And then you want to question other people on their financial motives over COVID. Now, it's strange that the investment was made just two days after the World Health Organization declared that that particular medication made by Gilead Sciences is effective in the treatment of COVID. Now, also, you claim that your wife lost money. So, here you are, jumping all over Fauci, which I have no problem with at all, but you were trying to profiteer at the same time. Are you really mad at Fauci over making money off COVID, or are you butthurt? There's a little bit of sour grapes because, according to what they're saying, your wife lost money. Lost money. Not that you didn't try to profit. You did try to profit from COVID, but you lost money. Or that's what you're saying. You see, that's part of the problem right now with our government. Our government is giving away billions and trillions of dollars with no accountability. Seriously, there's still hundreds of millions of COVID relief funds running around out there. What happened to them? What are they being used for? Why are they being held? There's hundreds of millions of COVID relief money for schools that they've restricted to where the schools are very, very limited on what they can use them for. So they're just sitting. They're sitting hoping that time will pass and that money can be pulled from for other pet projects. That's our government. Rand Paul is raising hell because Dr. Fauci financed the Wuhan lab. Again, I don't like Fauci. But if you break it down, they financed the NIH, Congress, the Senate, our government, and then the NIH funded Wuhan. So in essence, our government funded Wuhan. 
Why do I say that? Because they should be accounting for every dollar. If they give the NIH a billion dollars, the NIH should be delivering receipts for that billion dollars. That's how you run a business. You couldn't run a business that way. And you damn sure can't run a company or a country that way. It, it's not good business. All the money spent at Katrina. Have you been to Louisiana? There's still parts down there that are destroyed. The funds that went to Katrina, wink, wink. The funds that went to Iraq, Afghanistan, Ukraine, all these aid packages should require receipts. We should know where that money's going, what it's being spent on, who in our own government is profiting, how much of that money is coming back through channels and political donations to either party. We should know that. We should know that. It's our money. It's our business. We're shareholders. We should get a report on the financial status of our business, of our corporation known as America. We are the investors. Washington doesn't invest anything. Nothing. So we need an independent audit of these programs. Every aid package given out should provide receipts back to we the people, showing us exactly where that money is spent, how many offshore accounts that money ends up at, how many mansions are bought with that money. You can't run America like Black Lives Matters. There has to be accountability, and we haven't had that for a long time. That's the biggest financial problem we have right now with our government. They're just throwing billions and trillions of our tax dollars into the ether, and no one knows where it goes. No one truly knows where it's hidden until the dust settles and then slowly pull back out of for just little pet projects. Little pet projects. You know, let's say there's a congressman or senator in eastern Kentucky who needs boats. Miraculously, there ends up being a new prison built in his district. Just where did those funds come from? I don't know. Nobody knows, honestly. There needs to be accountability of all of our money. There needs to be an audit. Not a governmental agency auditing them. That's just like paying the fox to run the hen house. It needs to be a totally bipartisan Actually, tripartisan. It needs to be someone with the Democrats, Republicans, and Independents oversight, but an independent auditor going in and auditing all these funds. Do you remember the trillion or three trillion that was missing just before 9 11? You probably don't. Most people don't remember it. But it just so happens that one of the planes that struck, struck the Pentagon in the offices that were auditing that money, looking for that money. Have you heard anything about those trillions since 9-11? No. Because the dust settled and everyone forgot about it. Back to business as usual. We can't run our business like that, guys. We need to have accountability. We must have accountability. We must be able to follow the money wherever it lands. We should know. But as always, that's just my opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt. This is Alan Sarge. I'm out.